Number 15. Bedroom Exorcism If you think you can brave these 15 videos, then you're braver than most. Our first entry has been getting big attention in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. It's a video of two people performing an exorcism on a girl who clearly looks unwell. There's two eggs on this plate. The priestess cracks one egg, and it appears perfectly normal. But after rubbing the other egg on the possessed girl's skin, it cracks open to a pure black sludge, which is an extremely creepy sign. But things get even more bizarre as the girl sits up with very dilated eyes and drinks the sludge, which causes her to shake and twitch. And the full video cannot be found on YouTube because it gets even more disturbing. I think only seeing this part of the ordeal is enough to terrify anyone who isn't brave. Number 13 Poltergeist. We've all been there. It's a stormy night. Every sound in the house is an evil entity vying for your soul. That must have been what this man was feeling when he saw this happen in his dining room on a stormy night. The clip shows a man enter his dining room, which appears completely normal. Every chair in place, he enters his laundry room, then casts the camera down the stairs. It appears that something must have happened to cause him to search his house. He says hello down the stairs. Is someone or something there? He decides to go into his basement to investigate. The wooden steps are incredibly rickety. As he's nearing the bottom, a terrifying racket is heard upstairs. He runs for his life, only to find his kitchen chairs precariously stacked up, balanced one on top of the other. The dining room light is swinging around. The shot is still. As the man crosses the room and stands frozen in fear at this ominous sight, the overhead light continues to swing, and nothing is there. There's something especially uneasy about the stacking of this man's furniture. Part of that uneasiness comes from the fact that no human could have done this particular building job in the short period of time that the man was away. Who do you think did it? Or what? Number 12. The Swarm If insects aren't your thing, then this entry will highly test your bravery. This footage is of an insect swarm at the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. The uploader writes, During our family holiday in 1996 or 7, we had parked the car and gone for a short walk up the cliffs. When we came back, we found that our car had become a hot spot for these giant wood lice, sea slaters. The clip shows piles upon piles of wood lice crawling around the car tires, an absolutely terrifying sea of insects, all coalescing beneath the vehicle. As the uploader says, probably attracted to its cozy comfiness. After seeing this, would you be brave enough to climb back in and leave? I thought not. Number 11. Dog in Crisis Everyone who owns a dog knows that they can sense things we humans don't. Posted by Redditor ChewyBone02, he writes, I think my dog had a crisis. And he isn't wrong. The video shows two dogs standing on a day sofa, looking out the window. The bigger one really starts to panic, its legs pushing the sofa so far from the window that he's stretched pretty impressively until he absolutely can't stretch anymore and pops down to the floor. Meanwhile, a number of orbs appear throughout the clip, drifting across the room. Is something outside spooking these dogs? Or is it something paranormal inside? After all, those orbs certainly point towards the latter. If only these dogs could talk and let us know what the answer truly is. Number 10 water warning. As we've said many times on this channel, nature can be a frightful thing. That statement is confirmed in this video posted by National Geographic in July of 2017. National Geographic describes what you're about to watch. Massive flooding has produced scenes of destruction and rescue in southern and central China. In one scene, a man is holding on for dear life to the side of a garage door as the waters rage around him. The water is flowing rapidly only about a foot from him as he hides in the somewhat calmer waters out of the path. 
The water surrounding him is up to his chest. In the clip, you can see a rescue unfold as a man stands atop a ledge with some rope length of fabric tied around his waist. While the man below holds on tight, being taken by the water's heavy flow, somehow they manage to lift the man out of the waters, pulling him to safety. Truly a heroic save in a seemingly horrifying situation. Number 9. One of them moves. A doll with a creepy aura is chilling enough. So what happens when the doll actually moves? The G-Team Paranormal Investigators posted this video to YouTube in March of 2019 writing, After my recent video with Omar, I decided to take his haunted dolls home with me that night. I did not bring them inside my home. I left them in a shed out back. After watching back the video I did with Omar a few times, I decided to introduce his dolls to mine and turn the camera on. The video reveals an unsettling movement. As Patty, the host, is talking about the dolls, you can see one of the porcelain doll's heads moves ever so slightly. Because I don't want to keep her, but I'd like her to go to a good home. I mean, if there's somebody out there that's interested, I don't... Did that... <laughs> thing just move? As if she's listening. Is she? If she is, does she like what she's hearing? She must not have gone full on Chucky when the camera stopped rolling. So we can assume so. Number 8. Shadow People If you've never come across a sadistic shadow, then you don't know true fear. Think you're brave enough to face it? Then keep watching. The footage shows an empty stairwell. A young woman appears at the top, descending to the hallway, when she abruptly turns back as a dark shadow enters the stairwell from the doorway below. The vague shadow then disappears into thin air, but then appears again moving up the stairs. Solifidian in the comments has a theory about the shadow ghost's movements. He writes, Hypothetically speaking, a ghost may not have any real physical limitations, so maybe movements are not going to align with how physical matter moves, but it appears it is absorbing all visible light frequencies so it must be comprised of some kind of particles. What do you think? Is this particle-like shadow ghost something worth investigating? I certainly think it is. Number 7. Don't go in the closet. When you hear some unusual noise in your everyday life, do you ever stop to think, what in the world was that? Redditor Shadow Husky one did when he heard this strange sound coming from his parents' closet. Husky writes, just moved in, house built in the late 50s. When the boy walks into his parents' bedroom, you can see his reflection in the floor length mirror. Somebody's here, he says. As some note in the comments, at the 90 second mark, a strange shadow crosses the camera. Actually, it looks more like a blur or a smudge than a shadow. He asks the thing to please make a noise and unfortunately it responds. Please make a noise. As the boy is backing away from the door, you can hear what sounds like clothes hangers clang together. He then enters an adjacent bathroom connected to the closet. As he tries to flick the light a dozen times, a woman's voice can be heard for a moment. Who is it? What do they want? Is there a spirit haunting this closet? If so, what happened here? Shadow Husky doesn't stay long enough to find out. Can't blame him. Number 6. Old South Pittsburgh Hospital It seems hospitals are incredibly haunted places. Posted to YouTube in September of 2019, HRJ Paranormal Adventures navigates this hospital. Situated at the foothills of the South Pittsburgh Mountain, the 68,000 square foot hospital was founded in 1959, but the haunting may date back to well before it was built. Unlike Penhurst, there are no reports of mistreatment at this hospital during its operation, but there were reports by hospital employees of paranormal activity, such as inanimate objects moving of their own accord, disembodied voices, and dark shadowy figures, including a seven foot tall man on the third floor, 
who is believed to be a former surgeon who practiced at the facility. He's not the only one haunting the third floor. A toddler spirit and an elderly woman have both been observed there. Two other spirits, a janitor and a female spirit, known as the Naughty Nurse, haunt the basement. This has drawn many paranormal investigators to the hospital since it closed in 1998. HRJ Paranormal Adventures manages to capture a few paranormal entities in this video. One is a ghostly reflection that appears twice at 3 minutes 53 seconds, and then again at 3 minutes 58 seconds. Follow the crew on their hour-long investigation of this haunted place, and you might just capture a few more spirit sightings and disembodied voices. Number 5. Creepy Girl Warning, don't enter a dark and disturbing abandoned house at night. Posted by Ka Records in 2010, the team is exploring an abandoned house at night when they zoom in on a corner of the room. In that dark corner, behind various obstructions, appears a creepy girl doll. The disturbing sight causes them to race from the room. Wouldn't you? I don't think they had any other choice. Number 4. Penhurst Asylum Asylums hold dark energy, and this one is no exception. This footage posted by the Paranormal Files navigates their visit to Penhurst Asylum. Patient number one entered the asylum on November 23, 1908. It took only four years for the hospital to be overrun by residents, with pressure to include others. The patients weren't only there to be treated, they were there to contribute to industry, whether it be farming, making and repairing mattresses or shoes, cooking or sewing. There were a number of industries to which patients were assigned, accused of ill-treatment of patients. Nine employees of the institute were indicted in 1983, known as the Halderman case. This indictment ended in the institution's closure and the discharge or transference of 460 patients to other facilities. With all that in mind, it's crystal clear that evil things happened at this institution. These happenings resulted in a presence that would make your stomach turn. Many claim that the site is haunted. In fact, the Institute's administration building was partially renovated as the Penhurst Asylum Haunted House in 2010. Again, using the site as such an attraction has been controversial due to the injustice that occurred there. But opening the place to the public has allowed paranormal investigators to explore the hollowed grounds. If you're one who likes to fast forward to the scary parts, Jesse P in the comments has you covered, listing all the sightings or disembodied voices she caught in her viewing of the footage. Some of the catches are confirmed by others in the thread, particularly the hotspot at minute 46, around 46 minutes 35 seconds. Jesse notes a male whisper saying, Go back. Then I got a munch, a munch. At 46 minutes 50 seconds, the same male voice states, I'm a male. Look right next to this ear. At 46 minutes 56 seconds, a female says, He is attacking you. Uh. Lots of other disembodied voices are caught by viewers watching the tour of the Institute. And at 1 hour 5 minutes 50 seconds, there appears a strange light anomaly as a light or figure seems to shift in the darkness of the hallway. If you're brave enough to watch the entirety of this video, let us know in the comments if you've spotted other anomalies or heard any additional disembodied voices. Number 3. Unknown Force Unknown forces are all around us. Will you be brave enough to fight when you encounter them? In this video, a man is standing in a dark alleyway when another man to his right appears. Figures also seem to be standing around him in the darkness, out of sight of the camera. As you can see vague flickers of movement, suddenly he's at the mercy of these figures. But the movement is not human, but like a hurricane force. He's thrown to the ground and the force disperses. Then the other full-figured man in the video grabs him. Before heading back into the adjacent building, it's almost as if there's water on the ground. As the man tries to move, there's a ripple effect. Then he is dragged by his feet by the unknown force off camera. 
The rippling continues for a moment before going still, but the stillness is brief. When the other dude returns to the alleyway, looking upon the scene, he suddenly rushes back into the building as something huge is thrown in after him. It's not clear if it's a person, place, or a thing. A moment later, a figure wearing a long black cape and a hat leaves the building. A window shatters beside it as the figure departs. What in the world is happening here? Any theories? I feel at a loss when coming up with a rational explanation for these happenings. Number 2. Haunted Graveyard YouTuber Moxley's Crazy Adventures posted this haunted graveyard video in November of 2019 writing, Welcome back to my first haunted graveyard. I went here to see what I could capture if anything at all. What I did capture was insane. Alright, you reeled us in. Let's just hope you deliver. And Moxley does deliver. He captures a dark shadow-like figure gliding across the backdrop of a lit brick wall. He shouts out to it, but it doesn't respond. What the hell is that? Hello? He later hears heavy footsteps nearby. They're clearly heard in the leaves around him. In the comments, YouTuber Spooky Spectre notes that this thing wasn't moving like a human being, nor did the brush move as it passed by. It also didn't respond when being called out to, or make noise or footsteps. Do you agree with Spooky Spectre? Did this freak you out? If not, then you're one brave cookie. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Are you curious about what I look like in real life? Then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT to find out. Do you like my narrations? If you answered yes, then tap the follow button and thank you for your support. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new video we upload every Tuesday. Number 1. Mall Incident Reality is often way scarier than the supernatural. Posted to Reddit by Creeper Crisis, he writes, Horrifying footage of something that happens daily here in London. The gruesome video shows a blade brandished at an area mall. Chaos unfolds as shoppers realize what's going on. The blade wielder manages to flee the scene. The victims are also seen jogging through the shopping center. One clip shows security guards beside one of the men. The second man is then seen approaching and falls to the ground. Certainly terrifying to watch. I couldn't imagine how terrifying it must have been to witness it in real life. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or, if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!